Queensland school children have trailed the country in the national literacy and numeracy tests, but we now also know which classes have performed the best, and they're not all private schools. Most families know a good school when they see one. Oh, I like the school, and uh, I think the, the teacher do work very hard. Based on that plan, these are Queensland's top five. In Year 3, A.B. Patterson College and All Saints on the Gold Coast, Ashgrove, Barden and Kambuya State Schools. All Hallows, All Saints, Barden and Baroran State Schools and Clayfield College for Year 5s. In Year 7, it's All Hallows, Brisbane Central State School, Brisbane Grammar, Buranda and Chapel Hill and A.B. Patterson, All Hallows, All Saints, Brisbane Girls and Brisbane Grammar in Year 9. But there's a lot more work for Queensland to do if we're going to get to our stated aim of being in the top jurisdictions by 2020. Overall, though, we're not the smart state. Queensland's placed fourth, second last for Year 3 and Year 9 writing, fifth for Year 5 writing, fifth for Year 7 reading and writing, fifth for Year 9 grammar, punctuation and numeracy, last for Year 7 reading. If Queensland had a report card, it had read, improving but can do much better. If there are 10 steps to be achieved, we've probably only achieved two. Which is exactly why we need better resource schools. Teachers want NAPLAN scrapped. Saving ourselves $100 million, which can be put into school funding reform, uh, and that way schools will all be better off. It's a sad irony, but some of the schools with the best NAPLAN results this year are the very schools the state government is about to close. A decision on those schools is due in days. The school closures are things that I've promised by the end of this term and I'll make sure that I deliver that. Shane Doherty, Nine News.